help you learn some new dimensions to prayer. Uh, and one of those dimensions is the posture of our prayer. And so you can find this diagram in the Great With God. Um, and so what you're looking at just right here is what we're starting with, you know. Uh, let me just walk you through these real quick because you're talking about um, what they mean. And so uh, to start with, we're starting every morning on our face before the Lord, acknowledging desperation, acknowledging our need for mercy, acknowledging that he's God and I'm not. Uh, how about this next one here, kneeling. Kneeling is just simply a recognition that says every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So when I kneel, I am acknowledging his lordship. Bowing. Bowing is a sign of reverence. It's also a sign of worship. How about the simple idea of standing as we pray? Well, sometimes we stand, uh, standing is, 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 is confident. I can stand before the Lord. Why? Because the blood of Jesus Christ has, has made me. I'm, I'm a member of the family. I am not a servant. I am a servant, but I can stand as a son. Uh, I can also take the stance of preparedness. And uh, it says, you know, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So let us stand there for it. So there's a stand of being prepared for battle. How about this idea of sitting? You know, when we sit in prayer, you should remind yourself that uh, Christ is sitting on the throne and that the final authority is with your boss, with your dad, with your Lord, with your master, with the God of the universe, whom has adopted you into his family. Think of him as sitting on the throne of judgment. Now, the final uh, judgment is with him. The final authority is with him. How about this one? The idea of simply looking up. It says that they looked up, and looking up is for the pure in heart. It's just simply recognizing that, hey, I can look up. Why? Because I know all my guilt is washed away. In the eyes of God, I am pure. Uh, and sometimes we find in the scripture that people prayed with the outstretched arm. And so we stretch out our arm, uh, realizing that God wants to uh, demonstrate his power through our prayers. He wants his, his power released through our prayers, that God wants to uh, bring a blessing uh, through our prayers and the words that we speak. And so the outstretched arm is symbolic of, of that uh, idea of God bringing his blessings through us. Finally, we have this one, hey, like this, leaping for joy. Leaping for joy, that's actually a posture of prayer. Jesus Christ says, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. No, that's, that's James. But uh, blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and say, rejoice and become exceedingly glad. Why? Because great is your reward in heaven. So when trials come your way, uh, you have to realize that some of that persecution that comes in those trials is a simple indication that the glory of God is upon you. And you should leap for joy. Why? Because the scriptures say that there's a reward for you. So listen. Liven up your, your, um, your prayers by changing your posture and let your posture reflect the alignment and come in alignment with your prayers. Have a good day.